Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sensa Tempo County Corso with an update with our female that was, um, she was the one that was having the, the majority of the fear aggression. It was the one titled, um, Mother Disciplines Her Puppy. So here she is, this is her family. And um, as I said, she does live with small children. She's totally fine. You can see how submissive she's being right now. Very good girl. We got Midnight over here. Checking her. We got Preacher. And we've got... Come on, puppies! we got all the dogs here. Looking good. Looking good. Uh, no, they're Connie Corsos. Look how submissive she is. Thank you. Yeah, there's her daddy. She knows her daddy. Oh, she knows her daddy. Yes, you do. You know your daddy. What a good girl. Look how demissive you are. What a good girl you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, is she pooping? Okay, I gotta go get... I gotta go get that. Uh, yeah, they're gonna go to the water. We can walk over there with them. That way they've... Yeah. Yeah, that way they, um... They don't get too hot. Yeah, yeah, she's chunky. And it and like I said, it's it's hard to see on these dogs, I'll be honest with you. No, yeah, yeah. Sorry you guys. Yeah, can you hold that? Oh okay. I was gonna pull the bag, but yeah, that's that's a better option for me. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Um yeah, so it's it's very hard to tell when they're overweight. Um they they carry it very well, but it's only in knowing their their heritage and what they're used for that you can tell. Yeah, yeah, because you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all from above. You want to look from above, and I'll try to get it. Well, she's gonna run off here. You don't have no hips. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I want to try to get it on video that way because people can see it because it is a a pretty a common issue. Well, let's get some water for the dogs first and throw away this poop so I don't have to hold it. Normally I've got a helper. Oh my god, these people swimming in this water? I would never. <sighs> you really shouldn't swim in water where there are off-leash dogs, y'all. Seriously. Not, not okay. Usually there's warnings. <sighs> I have no whistling ability right now. There's my dogs. So here's all mine. So I want to show you guys the difference. If you look here at mine, you can see... Midnight, come here! Midnight, come here! Good girl. He's a good girl. Hold on. Hold still. So you, can you kind of see here where, where she's got... Let's see if we can get... Um, you can see the skinny part here, so the hips are, are out. So the hips should be wider, the ribs should be wider, and then the thinnest part of the dog should be this narrow part called the loin right here. That's where it should be narrow. You can see it on her too, right? She's, it's the skinniest part right there. They should have a waist from the bottom where it should come up, where it should tuck up, and then um, also on the, on the top side you should be able to see it. And so, and you'll notice how, um, how Roxy, hey good girl, um, she's so, mo she likes to move a lot, how she, she'll see, is soft around the edges there, and she doesn't have it. She's just straight the whole way from her ribs, it's just not, it's not there. She's not overly obese for sure, definitely not, but she could lose some weight. And so I say that because I've had all my customers... We've had some trouble with keeping the weight in check because it's just hard to tell. So I wanted to give a very visual demonstration to kind of help everybody um, because <clears throat> that's what's going to allow their um, their hips to be to be in the best shape possible. So, but you can tell you guys she's doing great. She doesn't care about the bicycle that just went by that's over there. She doesn't care about all the people that are here. She's not being aggressive. I mean, this is a dog that people thought was going to be a menace to society. 
and dangerous and she lives with children and she's here in an off-leash dog park totally chilling being submissive you guys have done a great job with her really you have she's just a, a great dog she's a good girl she's really smart yeah. she listens have y'all had any problems out of her no that's awesome stubborn sometimes yeah. just where yeah, it's the breed. she'll just look at me and I'm like Okay, yeah. you know, and so I'll have to tell her something. Lucas, you can, yeah. Come on, Lucas. Maybe the third time she'd be like, okay, mom. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Velocity was like that when, when she was tiny. We actually had to keep her leashed for a while on the videos because she would just take off. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Like, She's got that. Yeah. Yeah, her dad's like that. Uh, when we go walking, she always has to pick up sticks. Yeah. And she'll like drop one and pick up a bigger one. Yes, she'll yes, just like her dad. Exactly. Yep. I, always trading up. Yep. Yep, <laughs> always trading up for the biggest stick. Exactly, that's so awesome. That is so awesome. Watch out, hey dude, really? Ooh. Yeah, Mama's not here. How's she? She's good. She's uh, she's uh, attitudey because she's preggers right now. So she's uh, so uh, we. Alex convinced me to bring her out. Um, a couple yeah. days ago, and that was a mistake. That's what Roxy likes when you hold that up, she'll jump to yep. that. Oh, yeah, they love to jump. They love to jump very high, as high as they can. <laughs> oh, gosh. She's a puppy, too. Yeah, yeah. Good boy, Breacher. Look at you walking on the bottom, as usual. Always looks like he's drowning because he walks on the bottom. Does she do that, or is she more of a... She'll try to, she'll sink down on the bottom. Yep. Okay, yeah. That's it. Yeah, their mom swims normal. She uses her back legs. Preacher never does. He doesn't like to. He just walks on along the bottom. I mean, if he has to, he will. But if it's if it's uh, deep enough, he'll just do the other. Oh, good girl. Roxy. Uh, they're just here for socialization time. For socialization. Yeah. They're so cute. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I love the fact that she's with kids. Is she protective over the kids? Uh, she hasn't, we haven't really. She hangs out with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. Really She'll go lay down with them. Well, is she gentle and stuff? Like, do you, is she? Does she ever play too rough? Walk okay. Over yeah. And, like, say hi to them and do this. Uh huh. And the like, foot. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Cashmere still does that. Cashmere still throws her her paw out in your face. Like, I swear. Yeah. Like, oh. She gets that from her mom. Yeah. She gets that from her mom. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. No. It's not fun at all. Roxy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's beautiful. There's that foot. <laughs> There's that foot. Yep. Just like her mama. Just like her mama. Blondie kind of does it too sometimes. So, come on you guys. Back over here. We got ourselves a... Was that a blue healer? I always get confused. Australian cattle dog. Cutie patootie. That's right. Somebody told me they... they, they it's the same dog. It's two names for the same dog. That's why I always get confused. Yeah, they changed that. They used to have a one name and now it's two names. It's an Australian cattle dog and the blue healer. Oh, okay. Dad, I want to go in there. No, mommy. No. I want to just let her see how she comes down here. She'll be scared to stay on top of you. The only thing she does, she she'll hide behind the tree. She does that when she's with the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Like, she's Mm -hmm. So she's scared of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe you should like. Do you just take her on a leash and, and take her out? Maybe. Yeah, and we've walked her past mm -hmm. the site, so right. she'll be like, okay. But right, right. In the backyard, is, she's like, no. Mm -hmm. Like she'll listen for it. And mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, she is a she is a sensitive soul. That's what I that's what I tried to tell people that watched that video who thought she was aggressive. I was like, no, this is fear based. That's why the mama keeps pushing on her like that. She's trying to make her realize that there's nothing to be afraid of. You know, it's that tough love. So that's why I was saying that if if she ever is afraid of something, just make sure that you kind of take her by it, make her sit by it, and walk by it, and kind of get over it um, gently, so that she 
Yeah, so that she doesn't, uh, so that she has to kind of get over it, you know? That's what we do. Blondie's the same way. Blondie's real sensitive too. She's a sensitive soul. So we do the same thing. Just, just, they just are more fearful. Like they just kind of have that kind of nature where they're less bold. So when they do have a fear reaction to something, I always just try to take them over to whatever it is and let them check it out and smell it and you know and that way they can uh, kind of move past it the first few times she saw like traffic cones mm -hmm. she'd be like what is this and yeah start, yeah you know and yeah you're fine and i'll walk right yep. into it she smells perfect it see like, oh. exactly exactly that's that's all you have to do exactly it's all you have to do and that's perffect that's all you could that's all you can do for that and it usually works especially if they love you and they trust you that's what gets you through that, you know, and they're fine. Yeah, she's never, like, stuck her heels down and not let us walk. Perfect, perfect, yep. And as she matures, she'll totally come out of that. You know, maturity does a lot to help them kind of grow out of that as long as you do the early work and it doesn't and it doesn't manifest to worst. You know, if the only people where it continues to be a problem is if you don't address it when they're young and teach them, exactly, you have to teach them how to interact and address new situations that scare them so and that carries on forever you know at any time she sees something she's scared of instead of getting aggressive she'll instead come over investigate it correctly ah uh, she's at home yeah she's at home do you on both mom and dad mm -hmm. are they both the same breed yeah yeah they're kind of corsos they're italian mastiffs Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's an it's an a, an Italian breed of mastiff. Oh, it's like, who's that? Who's that? Yeah. Okay, I was like, that's actually. She's never aggressive though, like with other dogs. Even though they're on her face, she always does that. She backs down from them. Yeah, yeah. Well that's yeah, that's because she's yeah, she's a submissive girl. And her mama taught her to be that way. Because if you if you watch those early videos, I don't know if you ever saw those videos of her um, where she's getting really aggressive with her mom and biting with her mom and her mom kept teaching her um, that if you get aggressive with me I won't stop messing with you I'll only leave you alone if you don't respond with aggression you have to respond with submission instead and that's that training has come has pulled through so her reaction to other uh, fearful stimuli is to get submissive like her mother taught her instead of what she originally did was to get aggressive and freak out right and that was why she benefited from from staying with her mother longer than say a puppy that doesn't have that personality. So dogs that are removed too young that have that personality oftentimes grow up to have behavioral issues. You shouldn't, you, you should always really keep in mind and, and if they need to stay with mama and learn from mama longer, you, you gotta let them do it. And sometimes people get mad, they want their puppy early, but I always tell them, sorry, but this puppy needs more work, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's way too young. Way too young. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people, the, the mothers usually don't even start correcting the puppies till they turn about, they start at around six weeks and it escalates to about seven, eight weeks. So if you, if you, yeah, so if you take them too soon, they just don't learn anything from the mom. And if the if for whatever reason they don't have like the perfect temperament, then like it like for instance Blondie, um, she's more sensitive and this girl, she was more fearful. So they really benefited from staying around and helping to kind of learn to overcome their fear instead of responding with aggression, which is, will get them into trouble and you get like fear biters, right? So the recipe for that is to let them stay with their mama, let them learn, um, and let them learn new ways of dealing with stressful situations instead of using their mouth. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it takes yeah, it takes work. You gotta teach those boundaries and stuff, you know. But if you're willing to put the work in, any dog can be um can be, you know, pulled through and in uh she looks very balanced to me. Um definitely uh you know, responding well to her environment. She's a sweet dog. We got like everything considered she is like a pretty
Right. Yeah. Yeah, we, we try to make sure that ours get lots of time with their family. And even, even after the fact, like any of the dogs that are around um, that we, hey, 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 that we, uh, you know, we, um, we try to get them out with each other as much as possible. So, and Velocity, that brindle female though, so she was the babysitter of all the babies. So that's what she's doing. She's running around. She's checking everybody. Yeah. Yeah. She, no, she was older. I got her when the puppies were um, just born. So she's two months older than them. And so she's from the same litter. So so the, the, the brown one here, the black one, and then the brindle, they're all three siblings off of the large black male. But the brindle, the larger brindle female, she's not at all. She's, she's from a totally different litter. And she was more of the, the babysitter of the pack. So that's why she's hurting them. No, she is a, a what's called a blue brindle or a gray brindle. Okay. Um, so totally different than all of them. So, oh, <laughs> she knocked Velocity in. That's so funny. <clears throat> I didn't wash my hands. Yeah. <laughs> She's so funny. That's awesome. Oh yeah, this is a playground for dogs for sure. Especially those that love the water. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I was like, yeah, here's another dog that gets to see the world. Yeah. That makes me very happy. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And she, whenever she'd get tired, she would swim up to one of us. Oh, I love it. See, y'all are great with her. I love that. That builds trust. That's very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. But can you tell now by looking at them, like versus the pictures, the differences in their sizes? Yeah. Is it easier to see now? Yeah. So. Yeah. I just wanted to. Yeah. That's. It's a. I want to help educate. Midnight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. And that's why whenever we go see Bishop, I wanted to bring my females that way because a visual representation is much better than photograph or even yeah, telling people. Like, well, she, you know, you can see where it goes yeah. Open. Yeah. It's, it's so hard to tell. And they, and they look, um, they're like great, uh, like great Danes in the sense that they, when they're the right weight, they almost look too skinny. Um, and it's because a lot of people don't know that they're, they're more of a sight hound. They're more of a running dog, not a mastiff. Traditionally, they are a greyhound type dog mixed with a uh, mastiff type dog. So it's supposed to be have the power of the mastiff and the head of the mastiff, but the um, the the stamina and the um, and the athleticism of of a sighthound greyhound. Whereas the neo mastiff is going to be your heavy um, guardian mastiff type, right? And so they're the ones that are just big and bulky. So you want to. Um, so that's the difference. Because they're a Mastiff, people can get confused. So I always tell them, instead of thinking like Bull Mastiff, think, you know, think the, um, the Great Dane, because the Great Dane is also a Mastiff, but it's a light Mastiff. And they are traditionally a running Mastiff. So that's why they look like that. My childhood dog growing up was a, um, it's actually how he ended up with Anna, actually, mm. because I had a, a fawn with black cats. Mm. Great Dane growing up, and when we found Anna, Shepherd, but just they're still like really square looking. Yeah, when they're yeah, little, yeah. Mm-hmm. Looks so much like Madeline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys, come on. Warning, warning cry. Yeah, it's that puppy. It's like, hey, don't hurt me. That hurts, yeah. you know. And they backed and off. It's good. Months, so. Oh. Yeah. Like, yep. Now she's running around playing. Be more confident. Yep. You can see her. Yep. Her, uh, her, hack, her hackles up. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. And and that'll be something. Yes. And that'll be something you'll have to, you know, watch for with her because, you know, she's doing great though. Don't get me wrong. It's not a cause for concern. But just when she plays, especially when it's not her siblings like this, um, you know, if she ever gets where she's like jumping on the other dogs or pushing them around, kind of, you know, um, invading their space, you just want to, you know, bring her back, maybe do a timeout with her and teach her that that's not okay. 
Um, but she should be fine. She plays with my mother-in-law has a Yorkshire Terrier, Jack Russell, and a Chihuahua. And so they're obviously all smaller than she is. Right. And she plays really well with them. That's great. The Jack Russell can't stand her and like always wants to fight her. <laughs> That's and awesome. Kind of looks at him. That's um, great. That's very good. Instigate. He tries to instigate, but she never does anything. Right. Um, yeah. But it's funny that Chihuahua is the meanest one of the group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Always. Always a Chihuahua. <laughs> So, but yeah, but that's great. She's, hey, 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 preacher, no. <clears throat> Not your stick. Shh. Down. Shh. What'd I say? No. But she'll go like, lay down on the floor like this in front of the chihuahua. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, see, you see how she's playing rough like that? You would want to get her for that. You wouldn't want to let her play too rough like that. Oh yeah, he got bit under his chin, but he's okay. So when, did y'all, did you hear me whenever I said you would want to correct her for when she was acting that way with that dog? Mm -hmm. So when you didn't, that's why she ran off like that. She's continually trying to dominate that dog because you didn't correct her. So next time when you see her acting like that way, you want to do it as quick as possible. Okay. That way it doesn't escalate. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, when she started bullying that dog into the wall right there and the dog was trying to walk off and the dog wasn't trying to engage with her. Um, it's one thing if they want to play rough and they're both engaging in it, but if one isn't, then you got to get yours off because then it, it becomes just bullying at that point. <clears throat> and then, as you saw, she got too into it. She got too excited in herself, too confident in it, and she kept going and bullying the dog and what, and then stopped listening to him as well. <clears throat> yeah. So now they're talking and now they are playing, but it was her trying to leave initially. So I think that's why it had it had started originally. So you gotta throw it or they're gonna jump and get it. What in the world was that? Why'd she yelp? I wonder if he stepped on her toe or something. Everyone's just very fixated on this. On the stick. Tree. Yeah, it's half a half a tree, big old stick. <clears throat> Is she back? He's over there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that pretty ridge back. I got a ridge back over here too. Hi there. Hi there. Lucas. So that's another um, running, running type dog. There's, I think it's a dog. Um, yeah, she's a ridgeback. Yeah. Yep. African lion hunting dog, they say. Oh my god, are you serious? I swear I call her the canary of the group. She's always singing. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. I guess we're getting, it's getting kind of long, so I'll cut it short. Y'all have a great day. Wanted to give you guys an update on that girl. Show how well she's doing. So, y'all have a great day, and uh, we'll talk at you later. Bye.